good morning and greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ it is a beautiful day and god's faithfulness and his mercies have brought us to this new day and allow us to see another sunrise and giving us an opportunity one more day to glorify him and praise his holy name in our last meditation we were meditating on that passage found in luke chapter 4 verses 31 to verse 44 in this passage we read about jesus two occasions casting out demons and how we discovered in our last meditation the demons the devil and the demons possess the the, the right knowledge they 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 spoke to jesus who was trying to cast them out they said to go away jesus we know who you are you are the son of god the christ and we know that you are coming to destroy us twice it happened and so from that we were meditating on how even the devil possess the right knowledge concerning god and christ and yet that knowledge is not going to take them to enjoy eternal life and eternal blessing why we found that their their, their knowledge was not is not accompanied by faith hope and love and the second lesson we we learn from this passage is the almighty power of our lord jesus christ uh we see demons and sicknesses alike yielding to his command the almighty power remember the power of jesus christ is beyond measure and comprehension you cannot even describe it when you think of the power and um, what do we see we see demons leaving and running away we see we sicknesses yielding to his command and going out of people's body he rebukes unclean spirit and they come out of men whom they possess he rebukes sicknesses and lays his hands on them and at once diseases and sicknesses are gone and the people get completely he- healed and restored to health and stamina christ has complete authority and power over demons over the devil himself and over all sicknesses and diseases without any exemption and um, the diseases depart and the demon gets out and sick are healed and like blind sees and the deaf hears the dumb begin to speak and uh, and the lepers are cleansed at the command of Jesus Christ what power he has therefore complete power over the devil and his demons and look at this passage how did the demon leave he caused he caused the demon possessed to fall but he could not injure him in this passage if you read this passage you will find it we see throughout the four gospels many cases like we have here demons are cast out sick are healed and the dead are raised and these miracles are meant to teach us an eternal truth what is that 
that Christ is the appointed healer of every evil that sin has brought us the world. Christ is the universal physician to whom all the children of Adam must turn. In Christ is life and uh, health and liberty. In Christ. My friends, every power and authority are all subject to Jesus Christ. They are all under his feet. There is no sickness he cannot, he cannot heal. There is no demon who is so powerful that he cannot cast him out. No matter, not only the most powerful demons, but one person may be carrying thousands of demons. But even these thousands of demons together cannot resist when Jesus gives his command to get out. And he only commands. They have no other option. They know demons can't resist. They may try to resist, but they will be struggling uselessly. They will never succeed. Our Lord Jesus Christ has all authority in heaven and here on earth. That's what Jesus said to the disciples. I have been given authority in heaven and earth and under the earth and everywhere. All these are under his feet. Remember. So anyone who comes to Je all men and women, there is no exception. Religion or creed or your, whatever your faith may be. But there is only one source of real, genuine authority over demons and Satan and sicknesses and diseases. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, therefore, anyone who have Jesus, he or she is not afraid. In Christ is life. In Christ is our health. In Christ is our liberty. In Christ is our peace. In Christ is we are made whole. Hallelujah. Therefore, come to Jesus. Hand over your life to him. Let him have complete control over you. And then, thirdly, one, an excellent example to follow is verse eight, 42. 42. Chapter 4. Verse 42. At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. Don't let Jesus leave you. Take him. Keep him. Do not grieve him. Do not hurt him. Do not belittle him. Do not deny him. Give him your 100% right to yourself, to him. Let him be in charge. That is the meaning of let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come, that prayer actually means let the rule of God comes upon my life. The secret of his authority and power 
over all. Is to keep him. To keep him in you, to keep him with you. And the last thing I want to say is the purpose of his coming. Verse 43. Chapter 4, verse 43. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. He is sent for every nation for every tribe and kindred, for every group, no matter what your religions may be, what your faith may be, but Jesus Christ is the only one who can save you from the sin and the curses of sin and cast out all the demonic powers from your life and the evil powers. He is for everyone and for all. He loves you, my friends. He cares for you. Why don't you hand over to him your situation? Let him be in control of your life. God's blessing be upon you. Do not be afraid when he is in you and with you. God's blessing be upon you. This is a